Hey guys, I'm Sean Cheek of WebPianoTeacher.com. We're on lesson 10 of my sight reading boot camp series, my kind of jump start to get you sight reading of my, my 100 lesson series here. Uh, I'm putting the first 10 on YouTube and the other 90 lessons along with all my sheet downloads are like these, all these sheets I'm using, you can download them on my website, webpianoteacher.com. If you, if you like these and you want to continue with lesson 11 through 100, um, or on webpianoteacher.com with a, a friend or family level membership. If you get the partner level, you won't be able to get these. You have to do friend or family, which you're going to want because you get sheet credits with that level. And so the, the automatically you get sheets, every, sheet download credits every month uh, to get these sheets because if you, if you had the partner level, it would be a lot <laughs> to have to, to get each sheet. So friend or family level membership on webpianoteacher.com. You can finish the whole hundred lessons. Sorry, I can't put them all on YouTube for free, but this is the way I make a living. Uh, if I didn't make a living, I couldn't, couldn't put anything on YouTube. I'd have to spend all my time private teaching, which I did for forever. Uh, but now thanks to technology, you get to do it online and the website works for a lot of people. Um, you know, it's, it's great. You can try it out. Anyway, let's do this lesson 10, and, uh, and then you're off. Okay, so we have a note check. So I uh, wouldn't be a good teacher if I wasn't checking in on you to make sure you're really getting what I'm telling you. Because it's not enough for me just to say it once. I need to say it again and again and make sure that you get it because that's what a, what a good teacher does. So we're going to do a note check here. So the purpose of this is to, this is not a song. This is just random notes. And why did I do that? Why would I do a crazy thing where it's not even a song, they're just random notes? Because then you can't use your ear. Then you can't memorize it easily and just play it from memory. You really have to think of what the notes are and uh, what they're called and where they are on the piano without looking at your hand. And we're doing all the notes that we've done thus far. So this is uh, you know a little bit of a challenge. And I'm going to show you a way that you can kind of use this page more than just playing through it to help you with the, with the note check, right? Because we're learning a skill. We're not learning one song and hoping that that's just going to make us a better reader because it won't. We're learning a skill set. And so this is, this is part of it, okay? This is, uh, you know, like uh, leg day. When you're, you're working out, nobody wants to do leg day. Well, this is uh, maybe a day not everybody wants to do, but it's really going to be helpful, okay? So as we look at this, we can see, you know, just have random notes here. First, I want you to try it, and I want you to try to play it and say the names of the notes without looking at your hand. And you're probably going to miss some, and that's okay uh, because of the way it's kind of spread out there. But try that first. Pause your video. Try it, and then come back. And then here we are. So this is what you should have had. F, D, G, C, E. Now the next one's A, so you got to reach up above G. A, G, F, D, B. Where's B? You got to move over a little bit. C, B, E, C and E, C and F, G and C, B and G, C and G, C and A. There you go. Okay, so why was that hard? Well, for one reason, it went out of the position, out of the comfortable, safe C position. You had to move, you know, and, and go up to A. But then when you do that, the fingers are all messed up, and they're not on the, you know, the ones you're used to. Well, that's okay, because I want you to know where you are on the keyboard, no matter what finger plays what note. So when A, when A is played with your fifth finger, that's okay because you know that D's on your thumb. You'll get to where you know that. You'll get to where you feel that. I know you don't feel it yet, but you will. And now I'm forcing you out of your comfort zone. I'm pushing you out of the nest <laughs> and making you find the note. I'm not going to tell you what finger to play. I don't care what finger you play with it as long as you get there. Just get there. All right? The truth of the matter is a lot of the, the people who have the best fingerings, who have the best technique, they do their own fingerings. They don't do what the editor says. They don't follow fingerings in the book. They do what they want to do because they've played so much, they can feel what's going to work for them. And how do you ever get to that point unless you try it yourself? So I'm, I'm starting you right now trying that. Just get there. I don't care which finger you use. Just get there. 
Okay. So, um, F, F, D, G, C, E, D, A, G, F, D, B, C, B, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, fifth, sixth. Okay. And I used to figuring that that probably works really good, just kind of out of instinct. But my instincts were, were developed from just getting there when I had to retrain myself. All right. Here's the first line. So the second line's more of the same. We have three more measures of right hand, so let's just try that. Try it yourself, and then come back, and here we go. F, D, E, C, D, B, G, C, sixth, fifth. So I'm, you know, I'm saying second, third, and then calling out letters, because I want you to know the intervals as well as the names of the notes, okay? So you can can work on that. That's going to be a struggle. Don't look at your hand. Maybe you got to look at it a little bit to check once in a while. Um, see if you can fix it without looking. See if you can hear and and fix it and get back on. Um, but you you know you'll have to look a little bit maybe. But let's get to where we don't look at all. Okay. All right. Left hand. Three measures. Try it yourself and then come back. All right. What would we have? G C F G. E, G, D, E, C, D, A, F. Okay? That's tricky. It's not a melody. And just wait till I show you what you can do uh, <laughs> to uh, use this even more if you want some more practice on it. All right. Uh, try the last line, left hand, and then come back, and here we go. G, E, C, F, fifth. Sixth, fourth, third, second, third, fourth, third, fifth, fourth, third, second. You haven't done that yet. C and D together with four and five. Sixth, fifth, fourth, fifth. So B, C, D, C. Remember, I don't care too much what fingering you use. Just get there, okay? Just get there. Now, um... So you've done that, and, and uh, yeah, if you're wondering what the other 90 lessons on webpianoteacher.com, at the friend and family level, remember you can't, the partner level won't get this for you, friend or family, and you'll be able to download sheets for it so you can print these off and have them in front of you instead of just looking on the screen and even write on them. That, that's helpful too. Um, the other 90 lessons just take you along in this manner uh, further and further. And get you to a place to where you can, um, you know, sight read. So you're you're on the right track. You won't be, you know, Liberace <laughs> by the end of the hundred lessons. But it's it's meant to get you on the right track for playing anything that you want to play. Whether you're a Bach player, whether you like playing Springsteen or, you know, whoever else uh, up here. Music is music. It's closely related. Uh, it's just chords and scales. All of it is, you know. Um, a lot of the stuff Van Halen did with the tapping is Bach, Bachian, you know. Uh, really, very closely related. He just, you know, has an electric guitar, so it sounds different. Um, but, yeah, it's just uh, continuing in, in the same manner here. Uh, so, anyway, I'm going to show you this last thing here in this Lesson 10. And... This is an, a, a little trick you can use to help, uh, you know, improve your, your sight reading and more. So uh, this is what you do. You go backwards. <laughs> Start at the end. Play that one. That one. Really takes some concentration. Third, fourth, sixth. Um, I don't know why that's so hard. It, it really <laughs> I guess I do. You're going backwards, reading backwards. But it just kind of, I don't know, it strengthens something in our brain, in our hand, that, uh, that really helps going forward once we go forward again. But playing backwards, and especially on a song that doesn't even, is not a song, right? This is not a song. I just put random notes. 
um, you can go backwards and then you go to the next line and play it backwards and then go to the next line and play it backwards. You can also skip a measure. Try try one measure and then skip a measure. Go to the next one. Just pick a measure at random. That that will make you think. Make you, you know, really think. And that's what I want. I want you thinking. I don't want you memorizing because you got a great ear. Okay, you're going to start memorizing this if you just go forward so you can practice uh, doing it that way going backwards or just picking out a measure and playing that one measure and then picking another random measure, okay? You can even number all the measures and then get an app on your phone that's a, a random, a random, randomizer app, you know, put in how many measures there are and it'll just give you random measures till you've done them all, okay? You can invent ways to do this, uh, but it just makes you think. And, you know, whether you do... My lessons or someone else's, or you just do these 10 on YouTube and never, you know, come back. Just remember these principles I taught you because we're going to be doing the same principles. We're going to be building on that. Uh, and whatever method book you do, if you're doing level one, you know, somewhere, do all the level ones. Don't just pick one method and then do level one and then move on to level two. Try another level one book. Do it, but those are going to get you further than if you try to bump up to level two and think oh i'm better now because i did level two not necessarily not not necessarily a better sight reader if you're going after the skill of sight reading which is the super highway for information coming in how fast you're going to learn stuff how well you learn it how well you memorize it's all related to how well you read if you're a music reading person some people play by ear and I'm, I'm big on playing by ear. I've made my living teaching people how to play by ear with the letters on the whiteboard. A lot of you have seen that. Um, yeah, if you play that way, that's some people, that's all they need, and that's fine. But if you're trying to read music, you really need to be proficient at sight reading. And these principles that I've, I've used really do work if you'll do them. And they work with any method that you might try, any method book. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it all. And, uh, you know, good luck with it. I'll talk to you later.